Method 3. Homogeneous Equations by using the substitution y equals to vx. So, first let's look at an example and talk about homogeneous equations. We are asked to solve dy dx equals x squared plus y squared over xy. Now, notice all the terms on the right hand side. Yeah? We are looking at the right hand side all the terms on the right hand side of degree 2. Okay? Degree 2 means the highest power appearing is 2. So we have x squared, so that's good. Degree 2, y squared, that's degree 2. And we have xy, each of degree 1, and we are multiplying it out, therefore this also degree 2. Okay? So all the terms are of degree 2, and therefore we have a homogeneous differential equation. Okay? Now all the terms are of the same degree. So here it is degree 2. Therefore we have a homogeneous differential equation. Okay? Again, when you look at the right hand side and all the terms appearing on the right hand side are of the same degree, in this case they are all of degree 2, then we have a homogeneous differential equation. The method we are going to use, we are going to use the substitution method y equals to vx, where v is a function of x. So if y equals to vx, using the product rule or the uv rule, we can write the first term, differentiate the second, plus write the second term and differentiate the first. Yeah? Okay, we are using u dv dx plus v du dx and we can write dy dx equals v when you differentiate x you get what? 1 so v plus x the second term and you differentiate v you have dv dx so dy dx equals v plus x dv dx now replace the dy dx with your v plus x dv dx and on the right hand side we have x squared that's what you see here y squared will be what? because we know y is vx, so y squared will be v squared x squared. That's what you see here. And we have x here, and we have y is vx, so I've done all the substitution. Okay? So, the numerator here, I have taken out the x squared, so you'll get 1 plus v squared. And at the bottom, we have uh, v times x squared. So, I can cancel the x squared here. So, on the right-hand side, I'll just have 1 plus v squared over v. Okay? So my left hand side will be v plus x dv over dx. Again, the left hand side I have v plus x dv dx. The right hand side I have 1 plus v squared over v. Now, I have to bring the v to the right, so I have minus v. Clean up the algebra here. Okay? Clean up the algebra here, you will get 1 over v. So what we end up with, okay, what we end up with will be x dv dx equals 1 over v. Now, this is easy to solve. Yeah? So, I have brought the v up. So, I have x v dv. I brought the dx up. Okay. Now, we need to separate the variables. Okay. I have a dx here and I have x here. So, I have to bring the x down. So, I'll have v dv equals to 1 over x dx. Now, I can introduce the symbols of integration and perform the integration. When you do that, you'll get v squared over 2 on the left, and when you integrate 1 over x with respect to x, you will get ln x plus c. Okay, but uh, we know that y equals to vx, so you know that v will be y over x, so we need to come back and substitute. Okay, so where you see v, you plug in y over x, and you'll get this line, y squared over 2x squared equals ln x plus c, and bringing the 2x squared up, you'll get y squared equals to 2x squared times ln x plus c, or if you like, you can write it like this, y squared equals to 2x squared times c plus ln x. Yeah? Either way is fine. Next, we are asked to solve a differential equation dy dx equals 2xy plus 3y squared, the whole thing over x squared plus 2xy. So on the right hand side, 
each term on the right hand side is of degree 2 okay 2xy x is of degree 1 and y is of degree 1 so together they have degree 2 3y squared is of degree 2 uh, x squared is of degree 2 and 2xy is also of degree 2 so all the terms of degree 2 so therefore we are dealing with a homogeneous differential equation again what is a homogeneous differential equation where all the terms of the same degree great so now we are going to use uh, y equals to vx to solve this uh, differential equation uh, remember that v is a function of x and if we find dy dx uh, using the product rule again, we have v, when we differentiate x, we get 1, so it's just v. Write down x, and we differentiate v, we will get dv dx. So dy dx is v plus x dv dx. Now, coming back to our problem, okay, let me draw this line here, and I've got v plus x dv dx for dy dx. And on the right-hand side of the differential equation, where you see y, you have to replace with vx. So that's what I've done here. Okay, wherever you see y, you replace it with vx. And we can take out the x squared term in the numerator. So you'll get 2v plus 3v squared. And in the denominator, when you take out the x squared, you will get 1 plus 2v. Cancel the x squared. Then we have on the left hand side, v plus x dv dx equals 2v plus 3v squared over 1 plus 2v. Now, bring the v on the left-hand side to the right, so it becomes a minus v, and you have to deal with some algebra, okay? When you clean up the algebra, that's not hard to do, okay? Clean up the algebra, and you'll get x dv dx equals to v plus v squared over 1 plus 2v. Let's go ahead and uh, separate the variables, all the v's and dv on one side, and all the x's and dx on one side. So move the dx up, and you have to bring this x uh, to the right-hand side, so it becomes 1 over x dx. That's what you see here. And on the left-hand side, we have 1 plus 2v over v plus v squared dv. Now we are ready to start the process of integration. Okay. We can introduce the integral symbols. Okay. We are going to integrate on the left-hand side, 1 plus 2v over v plus v squared with respect to v on the right hand side the integral of 1 over x dx now on the left hand side when you integrate you will get ln v plus v squared on the right hand side we'll have ln x and of course we have the constant of integration c now I'm going to replace the c with a ln a so that on the right hand side I'll have ln x plus ln a so ln x plus ln a you will get ln ax that's what you see here okay so now what we can do is we have locks on both sides drop the locks we will get v plus v squared equals to ax we know that y equals to vx so we know that v equals to y over x so go ahead and substitute uh, v equals to y over x this is what you'll end up with yeah? y over x plus y squared over x squared equals to ax multiply throughout by x squared okay? multiply throughout by x squared you'll get xy plus y squared equals to ax cubed and we are 